Hi, welcome back to West Coast Geeks. Oops, I meant Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. Yeah, that's the other channel I've been, I've been spending most of my time on. So, today's uh, video is Tales from the Vegas Short Box. And I'm currently reorganizing all of the books that I have. So, I'm going through all the short boxes and seeing what I have in each one of them. Let's take a look, shall we? All right, so um, as you can see in the top here, this is mostly a um, X-Men related. So I think all of it is. Yep. So I have some cable. I do have the new X-Men. That's part of the second run. Some X-Force. Young X-Men, you know, at the time, I thought they were, all, it was okay, you know, it's just reading different things. I got X-Factor, X The Quick and the Dead. I think I only have the first cable in Deadpool. I don't think I collected the rest of the series. Uh, Giant X-Men number three. So you can see the classic cover there. I got some X-Factor books. Uh, Weapon X. So, I'd have to go back and actually start rereading that. But I thought they, I thought it was cool at the time. At least interesting a little bit. Um, to me, Ultimates were so hit and miss, and the X-Men were just so far out deep left field. Uh, Uncanny X-Men run 501 I have a few of those books I think they stopped around 533 somewhere around there but I know it's at, you know getting close to the end of the run uh, cable I'm pretty sure I have the beginning of that series somewhere king size cable um, X Force I did enjoy reading this series and I'm pretty sure I have number one somewhere so that's the other reason why I want to be looking through these um, these boxes so I can start pulling things out and organizing them. But X Force, I like this team. So you had X, uh, you had Wolverine, Thunderbird, Rian, um, X twenty three, Warpath. Let's see if there's anybody I'm missing. I think Psylocke. No, I don't think she was. Oh, and Angel were on the team. And at one point they had Vanisher helping them. And there's Domino. So, I don't know. This might be a series that I go back and um, collect. Or at least try to finish the series. Uh, Wolverine here. This was a good story. They kind of explain, you know, who Wolverine and Sabretooth are and their history and Romulus a little bit. And I did like the gritty art style they had to these books. I'll probably do a video on these. I mean, uh, Wolverine had a, uh, a mystic blade for, uh, Forge, so this is a blade. What this is the one he one of the many ways you can kill Wolverine um, before they uh, got crazy at one point with his regeneration, which his regeneration was never that. He could heal. I mean, Sabretooth had a faster healing rate than him, but um, if you were to burn Wolverine with like a, a flamethrower and take him what all the way down to just his bones and, or uh, yeah just the adamantium bones he's not coming back from that but in certain versions they had him which I found those stories to be to be honest to be boring um, what I liked about Wolverine is he had limits and when you are writing characters that have limits they, they're more interesting. Plus, he has with his background and the way he's drawn. He's just, it's just badass people. So that's why I've always liked Wolverine. Uh, the reason why I got into reading comic books was because of an X Men book that featured mostly Wolverine, and I got into the story. Uh, here's an interesting um, book on Wolverine where uh, he's been captured, and all they're doing is just shooting him up. 
So from the 50s, they have some really good story runs here. And then um, when we get right here into the 60s, they haven't... I like this uh, mystique story that they had going. Divided We Stand. So, I definitely want to be doing a uh, story on that. I gotta double check because I might have already done a story about him and Mystique. I'm pretty sure this is also part of the same run. Oh, sorry, it's just I'm stretching. So I have to, I put this all out on the floor so I can have better access to the books. But uh, we got Civil War Wolverine. And as you can see, these are totally different art styles. So I thought Civil, Civil War, I like the series overall. I mean, um, I thought it was an interesting concept at the time. So as I was going through these books, you know, you're always kind of looking for value to see what you have for some of your older stuff. And Dazzler is probably a series that I'm going to eventually try to complete. Um, I got these books from my friend Sean. And I'm also into Magic the Gathering, so I traded a whole bunch of cards for comics. So I got my first appearance of Dazzler um, from him, and uh, some Dazzler books, and some other, I want to say some books from 180 all the way up to 200. He helped fill up my gap that I had in between those. So Dazzler, depending on the condition, can be worth in fine all the way up to near mint anywhere between 20 and 40 bucks so this is we have color breaks here on these lines you can see the stretch lines right there so this probably puts it um, maybe 70 maybe it could be a little bit higher but who knows uh dadler I, I just thought these were a really interesting book i like the artwork so, she's meeting Dr. Doom. And Galactus. I was like, are you for real? Uh, we have Rogue. And Angel. And these are just cool art styles and stories that um, you never know what you're going to stumble into. That's why I really enjoy uh, collecting comic books. Especially the older stuff is. You just don't know what you're going to find in some of these old uh, comic book stores that carry a really, a really expensive, not expensive, expensive uh, back lot or back issues. As opposed to where you just have most, um, most comic book stores now, they just carry like modern stuff. Maybe if you're lucky, they go 10 years back. X-Men versus Dazzler. So I don't know how long this 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 ran to, but um, it's definitely something I want to check out and finish up. Like I said, I don't. Besides the issue number one, the rest of the book shouldn't, on average, probably three to five dollars a book. So I'll probably be looking for lots on that. The other one is um, the New Mutants. I bought this as a lot. So it was like 1 to 17. I do have a double. So this is the second appearance of the New Mutants, even though it's uh, New Mutants number one. And I think on books, you should probably put little tags on the back so you... Um, know that this book is has some value to it you know so as you can see there I put Bronze Age second appearance of New Mutants Origin of Karma uh, New Mutants number 10 is um, First Amara as Magma you know 1988 written by Chris Claremont artist Sal um, Buscema? I messed that up. I'm not even sure I forgot to butcher his last name. But, um, you know, you can put little things like that on there. Uh, 
Now this is the first appearance of Cypher. And this is the classic, like if you're gonna get uh, New Mutant books, this is probably the one that most people are after. So as you can see, it's the first appearance of Liliana, not Liliana, Ili Eliana Rasputin as magic. And then I put the writer's, artist, and cover information. So I grabbed a better copy of this book a while back. And this run included a copy of this. So it's, um, I, I think if you, if you just pressed it out, it should be okay because there's no color breaks. But I did pick up a better version of it. Um, I think you better chance to look at that book. I like the art that they had back then. I mean, this is before the days of computer graphics. You can really see what people can do. Uh, this is the first appearance of uh, Warpath. And then I, that's it. Here's a uh, cool little cover of the New Mutants, number two. Now I'll just show you the rest of the book. So there's nothing. Uh, this is the first appearance of Demon Bear, but you know, the movie did very bad. So that means this book is not going to uh, really spike that off, that off, that that high. Whatever it is at right now, that's pretty much where it's going to stay, and, and most likely it will drop a little bit. Um. I don't like how they did the artwork on uh, Silver Samurai's helmet. Um, now, I do know that they, some traditional helmets did have their, uh, their version of those like horn symbols, but um, I don't think they were pointing out at you like this. Like they, it should have been more up, but you know. And then, as you can see on this next one, they toned it down. <laughs> yeah, one more mutant trick, boy, and your mama dies. You gotta love the dialogue back then. It's like, what? What am I even reading here? You're not as tough as they look, are they, Sam? And Sam looks like he's about to be spiked. Uh, for some reason, they're fighting in the gladiator age. I look like Rome. There's a nice cool cover of Magma. And hey look, somebody similar to Cannonball. And the last series, because I'm gonna keep this short, is uh, X-23. So this mini-series dives into um, into her background, Laura's background, and I was looking to see what the average price on this miniseries is. It's anywhere between fifteen to twenty-five dollars a book, depending on condition. So, I'm gonna wrap it up by showing you this. So I really did enjoy this series. I thought it, it, you know, explained where she came from. Kind of similar to what they showed in the movie of um, Old Man Logan. So if you're a Laura fan, X-23, this is definitely a series to collect. Um, out of this box, really, this series right here can go anywhere between the bare minimum of like 50 to 125. It's just, you know, what the market at the time. If people are talking about the book, that'd be a good time to sell. Uh, the New Mutants. They had a few keys in there with Magic and of course Dazzler, which I just covered up completely. Um, Dazzler. The first appearance, I mean, the first, the number one is a book that has 20 bucks. So, you know, out of this short box alone, 
there's anywhere between a bare minimum of up to like a hundred to maybe as much as up to two to two fifty. So it's good to go through your collections if you've been collecting for like 10, 20 years because sometimes you forget what you have. So to go back and um, go through your series is something that I would recommend. Also, to keep things organized, which I'm trying to do, and then figure out, like I said, what books I want to keep. So I hope you enjoyed this series from the Vegas Short Box. And I have... Um, 18 more to go. So uh, this will be an ongoing series every week. All right, people. I'll catch you later.